When George W. Bush sent his troops to Afghanistan, little did he know that his name would be immortalized in the heart of the Afghan capital. Kabul's Bush Market derives its name from the 43rd U.S. President, a market full of goods from the U.S. bases. It has sustained itself over the years with supplies from United States and NATO bases, especially Bagram. One can find all types of U.S. accessories here, including footwear, pistol holes, binoculars and sunglasses. Over the years, these have become a part of the Afghan lifestyle, especially popular among the youth of the war-torn nation. But here in the market, the mood is that of uncertainty. The last U.S. soldier has exited the country, and supplies are dwindling in this famed bush market. Since the time Emirate has come, our business has taken a hit. If earlier we used to sell 100% items, now it is at 20%. Earlier we used to get things from Bagram, now we get it from China. People don't come much for buying things. Taliban come for shopping here, but they want pistol covers, lights and other small items. They do pay for us. The market's alleyways, flanked by rows of shops, are mostly empty. Ever since the Taliban took over the capital, customers too are avoiding this market, out of fear. As you can see, half the day has passed and we barely have buyers. People don't come at all. The Taliban take hand lights and other small items from us. They haven't objected to us selling military equipment either. The Talibs come, they make us take out everything and at max buy pistol covers. That's it. But even as American goods continue to dwindle, filling the vacuum here are Chinese products. China wants to be the new go-to partners for the Taliban, and it looks like they are already getting down to business. I'm standing in the Mush Market of Kabul. It is named after former U.S. President George W. Bush. You'd find plenty of American military gear over here. The shopkeepers say that their staple supply used to come from Bagram and other air bases where the U.S. were stationed. Some of the equipment also used to come here from the looted containers that were that of uh, the, with the U.S. supplies and the NATO supplies. Whatever you want, be that be scopes of guns, from binoculars to bulletproof vests to pistol holes, you'd find them here in abundance. This is the place to go. Shopkeepers also here tell me that with the U.S. leaving Afghanistan, the vacuum of their staple supplies is now being filled by Chinese products. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.